Hi guys, so today I'm filming my favorite nail stuff video. I don't really know what I'm going to call it yet. Something like that probably. Basically I'm just going to be showing you guys and running through what I love to use for my nails. What do I find? What polishes do I find that like last long? And what tools do I use? What nail polish remover do I use? Because I feel like all those things go hand in hand and um, if you get really good products that work together, your manicure will last so long. So let's just get on started. So the first thing that you need when you are doing your nails, I at least think, is a base coat. And a base coat is so, so important because I think that it makes your color that you're going to put on top lasts so much longer. Um, not only that, but if you get a nail base that is a strengthener, I think it will also strengthen your nails, obviously, and do other good things for your nails. So the one I use is the Matte Nail Envy Nail Strengthener by OPI. This is probably like, I can't even say how many bottles we've been through, maybe four or five of these bottles. Um, uh, they stopped selling them like in Canada, I think. I think they're bans like in North America or something because there's like something in this product that's bad for you, like lead or something. I'm not really sure, but I know that this is hard to find. So um, my sister and I buy it usually on eBay or like Amazon, something like that if we can't find it in stores or sometimes it's really ridiculously expensive in stores. So I we've been using this for a few years now and it's just been doing wonders. I definitely think that I mentioned this in favorites videos previous, but this is a great nail strengthener if you put it by itself on your nails or if you put a color on top it really does help your nails so I definitely recommend this nail strengthener I've used so many and this one is definitely my fate so what goes in hand with the base you need a good top coat and I've been going through so many um Sesh Vite, China Glaze, Essie, I can't, Sally Hansen can't even um fathom the amount I've tried but the one that works for me is the Revlon Extra Life No Chip Top Coat and this is how the bottle looks like. We've been through maybe like three or two of these just because we've tried so many top coats and we've just kind of been using the ones we've had up. But this one is definitely by far my favorite. This is maybe day three of my manicure and no chips at all. I actually just had to fix one chip right before this video. But these two products are what I have on my nails before I put this color on. This one is by Sally Hansen. It's the Extreme... Um, uh, nail color line it's the color coral reef so it's definitely um been staying on these products have definitely been helping that so for this one i'm not really sure like i said where you can buy it again probably online ebay or amazon or like nail salons some may have them others may not or hair salons and then this you can still get at drugstores walmart target shoppers drug mart uh, rexall um probably Walgreens and all that in the American states there but yeah that is the two polishes I like to use another thing that goes hand in using with those two products is you need like a nail digger thingy that you can scrape underneath the, your nails and get the like dirt out so like the grossness or you can push your cuticles back and the product I use for that is this little thing and it kind of looks like what a dentist would use if you were at the dentist but um, I still actually kept to the package it is the Curette um, double-sided professional stainless precision crafted um, I don't really know what it's called but it's an under nail cleaner you place it under the nail beginning at one end and going across the other end make sure the open spoon side is facing upward under the nail to collect the debris or dirt under the nail do not leave instrument and sanitizing solution for more than 30 minutes so if you're cleaning this follow these instructions um, this wasn't that cheap it was like $12 or something for this little thing but if you are a Sally's Beauty Supply member which is where I bought this Sally's Beauty Supply it is a couple dollars cheaper so you can keep that in mind so there is a bigger spoon end and a smaller spoon end it just depends on what nail you're working on um, I always find like white excess nail or like debris like they said under my nail and it gets nice stuck in this little hole up here so this has been really great to me I've only had it for a few months but it's been doing really good at cleaning my nails and I just keep it in its little package because I have a lot of these nail thingies and this one's definitely my favorite one you could probably buy stuff from like Shopper Drug Mart Walmart or whatever but this one's definitely the right one um, go to Sally's Beauty Supply they have a ton to choose from this is just the one that I thought would work best for my nails 
My next favorite product would have to be this nail polish remover and the brand is called Onyx Professional and it is a no odor nail polish remover and it is a natural ingredient it says as maximum strength and it is a big bottle and the reason why I'm mentioning a nail polish remover is because you need a nail polish remover that will um, get off all your nail polish and I've been through so many like Sally Hansen ones and like um, Equate like brands like that and they just do not do the same thing that this one does this one I feel is a way more oily base so you do have to be careful with that if you spill it oily mess everywhere but I've had this for maybe a year or longer and it has lasted me so so long my mom actually picked this up because one day at the store she needed to buy a nail polish remover and they didn't have any surprisingly left of any of the other brands so she's like I bought this one it wasn't that cheap so use it sparingly and we totally have been using it sparingly um it just says to remove a nail polish, moisten cotton ball, and massage nail bed, pressing firmly from cuticle to nail tip, wipe clean, and repeat if necessary. So it's a standard nail polish remover, people would think, but I think this is just such a good job compared to some of the other ones I've used in the past. And I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this one because it lasts so long and it does such a great job for the nails. So... Walmart is where I bought this one. So you also need some type of nail clipper or scissors to cut your nails and your toenails and the one I've really been liking is the Revlon one and this is just a small clipper. It's just a standard clipper. If you've never seen one this is what it looks like. I use this to clip my nails and toenails and it works great. So just a standard clipper. And I usually don't use cotton balls. I actually stopped using cotton balls for the last couple of Mm, maybe like last three years um, and moved on to like quilted cosmetic beauty pads and they just look like this they're just a circle and they're just like a cotton circle pad and I feel like way less little fluffies get stuck to my nail when I'm like fixing edges and stuff um, as opposed to like a cotton ball cotton ball always the fluffies get stuck and it's just so annoying so these are definitely great equate is the brand that walmart sells so this is really cheap probably a buck or two for how many pads does this have 125 so that lasts a lot i use these to wipe off my makeup i use this to wipe off nail polish there are many many uses um for this type of pad i didn't mention this at the beginning of the video but i will mention it now i'm not a huge nail junkie as odd as it may seem because I love beauty stuff and all I'm more into makeup and stuff like that so and fashion but when I do do my nails I like to have my go-to products that will work for my nails and these are definitely the ones the top coat the base coat you need a good nail polish remover a nail clipper you need good quilted pads to remove and a little scraper that you can go underneath your nails I'm not so much into the decorative stuff you know dotting tools and stuff I just like a plain simple manicure or French tip or something and I think that works great for me. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and now you have some beauty things to look out for nails and what works for me. Maybe you guys can leave me comments down below as what works for you and I'll give that a try out in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.